Oh, hi there, it's the Don with the Don Tech, and today I wanted to add another video into my maintenance video series in regards to cleaning your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. I just happen to have a MacBook Air on me, so that's what I'll use for a demonstration. Now, MacBooks, for whatever reason, people love to use them as the most expensive plate. Uh, I've seen a ton of MacBooks come in more than any other piece of equipment that's had syrup, beer, wine, milk, tea, water, you name it, just spilled on it. And just the machines are just filthy. So today I figure I'll show you how to get those cleaned because why bother taking care of your expensive equipment when I can just show you how to clean it, right? Let's get to it. You will need the following. Paper towels, Windex, screwdriver kit, and compressed air. For starters, make sure that the unit is powered off. And after that, you'll want to flip the machine over. Disconnecting the battery will not be as big of a deal in this cleaning tutorial. Next, you will want to remove the 10 screws that would be holding the bottom aluminum piece in place. You will need a pentalobe screw bit size 5 to remove these screws in the MacBook Air. MacBooks and MacBook Pros may use a Phillips screw bit. Up to 3 of the screws will be longer than the rest, so just keep note of where those go. Once the screws are removed, you can lift up the bottom panel. Start by lifting in the back of the unit where the vent is at. If your metal is bent, it may be a bit more difficult, but in a perfect scenario, yours will come right up and you can set this aside for now. Now onto using compressed air in the internal components. Start by locating the exhaust fan and spraying the internal components to make them free from dust and debris. When that's completed, hold the fan down and blow the dust out of the fan. This next part is optional, but I prefer to clean the internal bottom of my aluminum casings. If yours is really dirty, spray it with compressed air. Otherwise, Windex will work. Start by spraying Windex on the paper towel and wiping down the aluminum. It's probably best to not do this on top of your MacBook. Once you're satisfied with the internal cleanliness, it's time to put it back together. Start by lining up the vents on the bottom of the aluminum piece with the back of the unit. That's where the hinges are at. When lined up, gently slide it into place. Again. Bent aluminum will make this more difficult. When secured, start by putting the 10 screws back in place. Order does not matter, but make sure that the longer screws go in the longer holes. These can be tricky to line up correctly since they're so small and they kind of go in at an angle, but just keep trying it until you get them in properly. After putting all the screws in, I'll run my finger over them to make sure they are all flush. Now clean the bottom exterior casing with Windex. The aluminum will not be harmed by the Windex as long as you spray it on the paper towel and not directly onto the unit. As long as you do this on a soft surface, you will not scratch the top of the MacBook. Time to flip this machine over and get to cleaning the rest of it. With your Windex on the paper towel, clean the top of the surface of your MacBook. And the next steps will be cleaning the MacBook when it is opened up. Be sure not to hit the power button on your Mac when you're cleaning it. Spray your Windex on the paper towel again and then start cleaning. As long as you use a light amount of Windex and a light amount of pressure, but what's needed to actually clean it, you will not have to worry about any of the Windex getting inside the keyboard or other internals on the machine. I'm doing a pretty light dusting here since this machine has been cleaned pretty recently. You can also use compressed air to clean out the keyboard and surrounding areas. Be as detailed as you need to be and as detailed as you would like. The final step in cleaning will be the screen itself. This is glass, so clean it just like that with Windex on the paper towel. This may take some time in practice. And unfortunately, the professional got his head in front of the camera for the most of the screen cleaning, so it's only a shot of my hair. Sorry about that. But here, you can see the final results. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, the Don's got your back.